for joining us for today's webinar titled Studying Social Behavior in Zebrafish. This is Martin Hess from Inside Scientific and I will be your host for today's event. Our session today is sponsored by MDE Limited and will focus on novel methods for quantitative characterization of zebrafish social interactions. Our speaker today is Mr. Robert Kobach, a research associate and the zebrafish facility manager in the Department of Aquaculture at St. Istvan University in Hungary. Robert's main areas of research focus on behavioral and cardiovascular effects of xenobiotics on fish species. Today, he will highlight equipment required to examine group cohesion of zebrafish, technical considerations and tips for optimizing data collection and analysis, and he'll present some of the data that has been collected in his lab with the MDE Limited Behavioral Monitoring System. Uh, good afternoon or good morning for everyone. Uh, my name is Robert Kovac. Thank you for the introduction for Martin. Um, in the next next few slides I would like to present our uh, results and our work with, uh, with the social behavior experiments. Our, main, our laboratory's main focus is uh, toxicology and ecotoxicology. So we use uh, behavior uh, and cardiovascular studies um, as an alternative uh, endpoint, uh, biomonitoring endpoint for us. Uh, what I will talk about uh, in a few, few slides uh, so first of all, I would like to present or tell you a few things about the social behavior of zebrafish. Uh, I saw that uh, some part of the audience maybe have more deeper knowledge about it on our neurophysiological sites, uh, but uh, I would like to start uh, try to give some um, useful uh, things for them also. Uh, in the next few parts of the of the presentation, uh, I just to present uh, how can you use this software or this system and uh, give some advice uh, what's what can you take care and which which is the most important things. Uh, later on, I will present some uh, experiment results, some preliminary results. Uh, so the steps of how we try to form and how we try to design a system uh, for ourselves what we can use um, or the test what we can use in our experiments. So um, our main uh, focus uh, in ecotoxicology and toxicology uh, is a uh, chronic uh, exposure. So we made uh, really long-term assays and multi-generation assays also in some cases under GLP. Uh, so we want to find some, uh, some uh, assays what we can use to monitor the social uh, uh, changes of, of the treated animals. And late in the end, I, I will try to summarize my, my, our results and uh, give some tips for, for future use of this system. Just a few things about zebrafish. Uh, as everybody is now well, zebrafish is now one of the most, uh, most, most popular uh, vertebrate uh, animal model. Uh, they have got many advantages with takes to very popular, so uh, the transparent embryo, the, the low maintaining price, and, uh, and of course uh, the quite fast uh, uh, ontogenesis and embryo, embryo, embryological uh, development. A lower, pri lower maintaining price is quite uh, important for a small academic laboratory like ours. Uh, we have uh, 13 uh, racks, we have a recirculation system, and, and I'm the laboratory manager of, of our facility. Uh, another important uh, advantage of this fish is the, the, the high number, more thousand mutant and transgenic lines, uh, which can help uh, many times of, uh, of our studies. So just a few words about the shoaling uh, behavior of zebrafish. As everybody knows, zebrafish is a real social, uh, social animal. After the larvae start to swim, so five, day, five six days post-fertilization, you can see that the fishes start to aggregate and, uh, and they start to moving together. Uh, in this, this groups are really not really cohesion groups, but later on during the ontogenesis, uh, the density of these groups are increased. So after two months post-fertilization approximately, 
uh, the, the final density of the groups is, is, is developed and if you change the aqua areas, change to bigger or smaller place, this density is, is really don't, uh, it's, it's really won't uh, change. Uh, in the last uh, one and one and a half decades, uh, many very excellent publication by uh, uh, Dr. Galley and some uh, another researcher have uh, that uh, characterized uh, the main features of, of the zebrafish behavior like um, aggression, alarm reactions, sleep, and, and of course uh, the social behavior. So we have got some well characterized knowledge about uh, the behavior of the fish, but of course we have, we need some more information. Uh, for for uh, for these uh, results, sometimes we need new tools. Uh, in many cases, in behavior science, these are new softwares and, and uh, new hardwares, uh, which can help us to, to uh, collect uh, new and fresh data. Sorry, I just moved back a little bit. So, about the hierarchy in the aqua area, uh, zebrafish, both sex, can, can establish uh, dominance hierarchy in the tanks. Um, in many cases, uh, this dominance re, uh, relations is quite stable. So, in different experiments, um, they, uh, different uh, authors published that um, for five, four or five days, uh, these dominance relations are quite stable. Uh, why is it important for us? Um, when in our research we try to uh, test the social connection of this fish, we need a sta quite stable group. So. Uh, it's not uh, very good for us uh, if the, the hierarchy rank is start to uh, start start to move uh, when uh, when we put the fish into the into the recording area. Body size is also very important. So uh, it's uh, it's many uh, observation that the body size is positively correlate uh, with the with the rank of the fish. It's very easy to to uh, to observe. When you start to feed the fish in the tank, they are just uh, the, more or less always the bigger will be uh, will be uh, uh, in the in the top of the group in the top of, top of the group. So they will uh, they will be the first who will feed. Uh, the smaller one will be in the back. Um, some uh, um, environmental condition also very important uh, when we prepare an experiment uh, on the field of zebrafish uh, social behavior. So uh, when you when you take an experiment, you, you, sh you can take care, of, for example, the, the oxygen level because hypoxia can absolutely influence uh, your data or your or your experiment, and also the you can take care to to the uh, temperature of the aquaria. In the la in the last things, what I'm uh, writing down is the lonely zebrafish is depressed. Uh, based on our observation, yes. In many cases, we observed and. Then uh, uh, along, we put along, uh, only, only one fish to a tank because uh, when we establish the new transgenic line, we should select the homozygote, homozygote uh, individuals and it was necessary to separate them from each other. So when we put this fish uh, only in, the, in one tank, we saw that fish uh, uh, after weeks getting, uh, getting less active they are moved to the back. Uh, they are sinking on the bottom of the tank. Mm, of course, they are feeding, but but they wasn't very active. And later on, when we just try to breed them, uh, we have completely bad bad results. So the fertility and uh, and we didn't see in some cases we didn't see any uh, any mating or be, uh, or or uh, spawning behavior. For this, we we just uh, uh, so solve this. Problem. We put some uh, group mates to the to the fish. Uh, this was if we just made a transgenic line on a white type fish. We put some leopardinia or some caspers uh, near to them, and later on we haven't got some social problems and fertility and the and the, and the breeding uh, uh, our breeding uh, results was much better. So in a few slides, I would like to present the system. First of all, I, I would like to give you some uh, background information about our connection with the MDE. So, uh, in the beginning, with a few years ago, we tried to we worked together with the MDE to develop uh, together 
uh, uh, electrocardiovascular system for zebrafish. This is where we are started. And later on, where we are trying to establish and try to uh, uh, try to develop uh, some social behavior analyzing uh, solution for our problems, uh, we start to work together, and they provide uh, their sci system for us as, as a base tester for for us. So, uh, just I present the system. Uh, there are two units. One part is the mechanical unit that you are seeing uh, in this uh, in the slide. So the upper part with the arms is the with the camera. Uh, we tried more cameras, so there are some more possibilities you can choose for for your need. And uh, there are uh, some upper lights. Some uh, these are bright and uh, and infra LED lights, so you can uh, detect the movements uh, in dark. And the down part is the table. Uh, whereas also under this plexi, there are uh, bright LEDs and uh, and the uh, infrared lights also. So and in the, in you can see some four cells or four small tanks uh, on the table. Uh, the software can um, can uh, handle and can analyze uh, in the same time four tanks with uh, more fishes inside. And they can collect the data from uh, from this, so it's quite a high throughput uh, solution. This system is connected with two USB cable to the computer. Uh, the software is just uh, is not integrated to a, to a PC. It's just a single software what you can in install and just use. It's very easy to use. Uh, I can do it, so it's really really easy. Uh, the three, the USB 3.0 is connected to, to your computer. Uh, my computer has got some limitations, so I can use only the, I can uh, use only the 10 uh, frame per sec uh, videos. Okay, some just a word about uh, what we can measure with this software. Uh, in here, you can see that uh, the fish is freely swimming, and the the individuals is uh, is determined the apex of a polygon. Uh, the software can determine, determine different uh, geometric and uh, geometric uh, uh, points and also some individual distances. Uh, some more possibilities also in the software. Uh, one of more, uh, which, which is help you to, uh, to design some exp or measure some exp with some experiment. One of this is this range of interest. In, I will present in, a, in the next slide that uh, this uh, ROE is very useful if you just want to uh, select an area inside, uh, inside your recorded area, like here or here, and the software will count, uh, will count the number of the fish which is going through or stay in this area. So, for, a, for example, for a bright dark preference test, this work could be very useful or just a mirror test, you take this area in front of the, from the mirror and uh, you will analyze the fish stay. Another very nice point is this uh, reference point, is this magenta colored cross. Uh, you can take it to every part of the, uh, of the tank and the software will measure the distance between that point and the, co and the group uh, center. In the slide, I presented what kind of uh, measuring uh, possibilities are in the software. So, what I'm, uh, uh, you can uh, you can analyze the area of the show, so the whole area, which uh, is uh, determined by the individuals. The software is automatically uh, measured the, all of the all of the diagonals, and it will choose the longest one. Um, this, these are the, the geometrical measuring points, and there are also some individual measuring points. So, what I'm, uh, what I mentioned previously, the distance between the reference point and the hub or the middle of the of the show is also uh, automatically analyzed in all pictures, and uh, the software is measured all uh, neighboring distances from each individuals, and it will choose the longest one. Uh, and the shortest one, or the nearest or farthest neighbor, and of course uh, uh, it also uh, present for you the main distance of the fish and the median, main median distance of the fish. Uh, how the software is working? So the software is, is in two step. 
One step is, is the record. You can, you can adjust some parameters, what you wish, and prepare your, your record. Software will, uh, will um, save JPEG or MPEG files. And later on, when you want to analyze later, you just open this and it will automatically analyze your full record data, record pictures. This is how it looks like one report from the software. Uh, you, you can see the ID of your of your record, the number of the cells, the fish, uh, the number of the fish, the sample rate, the frequency, and the calibration. And uh, on the columns, uh, you see the the number of the individuals, the time, and the area of your of the show. What was the longest hub in each picture? So if you uh, analyze for 20 seconds, you just with the sample rate you will see that you will thousands of uh, of, uh, of data. Which was the longest hub or the longest diagonal? The hub coordinates. It's in pixel. Here are the data uh, from your uh, individual distances, and of course there's the uh, the coordinates of all individuals what was on the record. Uh, it's not the picture, but uh, the reference port coordinate also uh, in this uh, in this report file, and, of, and in this way you can calculate your own. Uh, you can you, you can do your own. So here I just try to present how the analyzing or how the of the data analyzing is the process is is working. First. You just uh, set up and uh, change the position of yourself. So the aquaria size, the aquaria size. In in with the glass aquaria, you should take care of the reflection. So uh, take care because uh, if uh, the software is uh, so the reflection of the fish, it will also um, try to analyze it. Here you can just the calibration is very easy. You just choose uh, your uh, reference points and the reference distance. In, in this case, uh, it was a only a simple caliper. And here's the uh, the ROI. With the ROI, you can choose an area. With the right click, you just change the size of this uh, selected area, position it, and uh, and that's all. And uh, after you are, if you, if you are ready with uh, everything, so you adjust the number of the fish. You can start uh, the process. It's going automatically, and uh, in the down you see how they are. The data will come, will collecting, and it's listed. And uh, when you just uh, stop it, you can uh, you can see that uh, how the this uh, females are swimming uh, this uh, magenta color means that the software is find the object and uh, they are calculating with the with movements yes yeah and, and uh, down you see the list of the, of your of your data uh, uh, after you just uh, stop it, you can uh, watch it again. Your uh, your raw data, and and another options. You can check uh, what was the analyzing data. So in here, you can see that all the objects are really fine. Uh, how the the polygon is changing during the during uh, the record. And if you just stop it uh, with uh, the bottom of here, you just easily report it, and you will have a data sheet, a data, an Excel data that I previously uh, showed to you. So, for the first uh, uh, experiment, what I would like to present to you is connect uh, to our previous experiments. Uh, many times that I mentioned previously, we are uh, focusing uh, to long-term and uh, and multi-generation assays. And in many cases, we we saw that uh, um, 
we, we can't really analyze the, the behavior changes, the social behavior changes of, of these fishes. For example, when we tested uh, uh, water disinfection byproducts called uh, uh, phenylalanine, or, uh, we, we found that uh, uh, we, we saw that uh, the fish out was, was less active. But it wasn't visible of feeding or reproduction aspects. Uh, we saw that uh, the, the groups, the fish groups, are, are wasn't real coherent. And, and we try, and uh, this is why we are, want to uh, design an experiment for ourselves. How can we monitor in this during experiment, during months or, or, or more weeks? And this is how we are uh, trying uh, to work with this system. So in the first experiment, our aim was to, to find which is the ideal size for, for our conditions, for our experimental conditions. In here, we, we use similar sized fish and, uh, sim and different uh, group size. It was two, three, four, or five adult fish what we used. These fish are uh, approximately half years old and uh, between the two and a half and three centimeter. Uh, in the first step, and what I will present now, we we tested monosex. We are we are analyzing monosex groups. Uh, the next steps will when we will uh, change. We will try uh, change uh, the uh, the gender rate. During the experiment, we used the same tank. So this was one of the stable point. Uh, it was a normal glass aquaria, uh, thirty centimeter to. to 20 centimeter, and uh, the water volume was 2 liter. This means uh, 5 uh, centimeter deep uh, water. What was very important for our experiment was the, for, was the room, condi uh, room conditions and the temperature of the water. Uh, we are take care to temper the room and, uh, and provide a, a stable condition for during our experiments, which, which was sometimes more hours. Uh, or, or, how, or one days uh, to, to keep the, the water in the same condition than, than the fish was maintained uh, in, in, the, in the zebra fish room. We used uh, 120 seconds for capture duration. Uh, this was also very, very same uh, in, in, the, in, the, in other publications. So just I try to show your uh, our results. In case of uh, males, we found that uh, uh, how the, the density of the of the group is is increased, uh, the minimal distance between the fishes is is is, uh, is decreased, uh, and it was absolutely significant. When we checked uh, the maximal distance, it was a little bit different between the two gender. Case of males uh, in three, four, five, uh, three, four, and five with, uh, fish groups, uh, it was this, it was quite the same. So when the, the fish try to take uh, as uh, as big distance uh, from each other as they can, and it was it was quite equal in, during uh, different groups. Uh, in case of females, it was something else because. In three and four groups, it was uh, lower, and in, in only in five females, we show uh, similarities to males uh, in the maximal distance. When we compare uh, the female and male groups, of course, the, the same size groups, we found uh, that in three, in case of the mean area of the show, in three, four, and five uh, fishes, that uh, in, in three and four, the males uh, made are provide uh, the, uh, the the male group was uh, significantly bigger, so the, the shoal area was significantly bigger. This was uh, detected in the in case of the minimal and the maximal distance also. So uh, from two to uh, four groups. Uh, the males um, minimal and maximal distance was higher so the fish in here is also try to uh, take as far as they could um, in case of the five 
uh, fish groups, uh, this difference wasn't significant. So, uh, in our our opinion, that uh, in the, in five fish, uh, the 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 density of this uh, of the small groups are are quite um, quite stable. So they couldn't they haven't got more space that they go uh, further uh, or go uh, as far as they can. So. Uh, the next step, this next step of our experiment uh, was, uh, which we have some preliminary data now, is uh, the study of uh, uh, ethanol. Ethanol is a well-known uh, chemical in zebrafish behavior studies. Uh, it's well documented, documented that uh, uh, short and long-term uh, ethanol has uh, has uh, caused uh, has, has influenced. Uh, the zebrafish behavior and a uh, higher amount of, uh, of uh, ethanol is decreased the social cohesion. In this uh, experiment we want to want to validate our theoretic, uh, theoretic um, design of our experiment. For this we also use the similar size fish and uh, we use in, in here for four adults based on our pre, uh, previous results. In this case, uh, two male and two female uh, was was in the group. Uh, here we want to uh, represent or present the norm of uh, of our long long term experiment or in normal population where where the, uh, the the gender rate is is quite equal. Of course, uh, we use the same tank with the same water volume, and uh, the water and will be take care to the water uh, uh, temperature. Uh, in our lab, we use 25 uh, degree, 25, 26 degree in, in the lab. Uh, the co the chemical uh, exposure was one uh, percent ethanol. Uh, First, uh, we we analyzed the normal the group uh, the, the group's normal behavior before uh, before the treatment, and after uh, I put uh, the ethanol into the aquaria, and every every 10 minutes I measured uh, the the different parameters and and take a two minute uh, long record from the fish. Let's see our results. Uh, when we checked the geometrical data, we found that uh, everything everything was was similar that uh, we waited for from the um, from the literature data, uh, similarities that uh, was in the in the literature. So our data is coincide with with the literature data. Uh, in the pre after, uh, before the uh, the treatment, uh, the mean area and the longest diagonal was uh, significantly low. Uh, shorter or, or smaller and after the treatment uh, every 10 minutes uh, the, the the parameter is not really changed so after the first 10 minutes everything was quite uh, stable so after this point the fish is not really uh, really changed uh, the, the, the social cohesion really not changed uh, and it was uh, really similar uh, when we checked the minimal distance and the maximal distance. Here is also was uh, here is also was visible that uh, after the first uh, ten minutes, everything is is uh, every par every parameters is increased, and it was quite stable during uh, the one and a half hour. And it was also significantly different from the zero point so before the treatment. To the if this this difference is why uh, significantly difference was uh, was slightly but uh, it was significant but uh, some enable difference was uh, visible only in the case of uh, the median distance and the, the main area so this mean distance and mean median uh, the mean median distance uh, differences was was very similar uh, like uh, our previous results. Uh, in the last slides, I would like to summarize our our data and uh, what what we found. So, uh, similarly to the literature data, the male and female group cohesion is, is different. 
in in case of males, this difference was was absolutely significant. Uh, so they are try to uh, move in a little bit larger groups with a higher distance from each other uh, than, than females. And our first step to, to validate uh, our system with, with a chemical uh, was uh, was worked with in case of ethanol because the group cohesion is significantly uh, decreased after 10% of 1% ethanol treatment. Uh, this uh, data is show to us that uh, this uh, PsyOffice system is, is enough sensitive to detect uh, very slightly differences uh, during the treatments. So we can continue our, our work to, to try to establish and design a very useful experiment for our uh, long-term assays. This uh, data is, maybe will help to, uh, and the system can help to uh, further toxicological or pharmacological studies and uh, maybe for some genetical studies also to analyze the social behavior of zebrafish. And in the, in the last points I just want to collect some basic things which should you take care of, which, is, which should be very important for you uh, when you use this system or use uh, social behavior uh, tests. So, uh, if you want to do something similar than ours, just uh, really want to analyze the, the, the group mate's uh, social behavior, take care that all fishes came from the same tank, tank because the hierarchy and the, and the dominance uh, relations can change your results. Uh, and if you use the fish from the same tank, the, this is maybe less, uh, uh, less problematic. Take care to the room temperature and the water temperature because it really can influence uh, your experiment uh, data. Uh, use the same uh, use the same uh, temperature condition than than you maintain fish. And some other important point: but after you transport the fish to the record tank or or, or the aquarium where you make uh, the the record, uh, give the fish a few minutes. It very depends on how they are calm or how they are known the net or this transport transport process. In some cases one minute was per perfectly enough that the fish will be go calmed down but in some cases half an hour wasn't enough. You, you should check it, uh, you should take care and you will see when the fish are not uh, freezed so sinking down to the bottom and uh, hyperventil uh, or not just uh, glue across the aquaria uh, they are normally they are normally swim. They are calm. They will be ready for your experiments. Uh, that was what I would like to tell to you. I hope that you find uh, the things useful, and I hope that I can give you some uh, useful tips for your further experiments. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Is it possible to monitor? locomotor activity of individual fishes. Uh, I didn't present in here and uh, we didn't use it uh, in, in this type of experiment but yes some part of the software is, uh, is useful for or possible to analyze the locomotor of, of the fish. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> also again maybe similar um, question is can the software track the behavior of an individual within the group? And maybe you touched on this when you were showing some of the data, but can you elaborate on, uh, on that? Uh, so in this part, uh, it's, you can't label one exact fish, but you know all the coordinates, so all coordinates are in the record, and in this case you can calculate it with it. Yeah, but, but uh, in, in the social part, it's, uh, you can't choose only one fish, uh, and, but in the, in the locomotor part, yes, they, they want dedicated fish and you can monitor the movement. But in here, in, in the social part, is not. Okay, so in terms of the data that's presented, as far as I understand it, the software will provide um, a measure to the, the nearest and the farthest individuals and the diagonals, but uh, the spreadsheet contains the coordinates of the individuals within the group. 
as well. Yeah, the coordinates, yeah, it's available in the, in the report sheet, yeah. Perfect, okay. Um, is there a maximum number of fish that one can put in a tank? Yes, it's actually 20 fish, uh, what the software can, uh, can analyze yeah, in, in one aquaria. Okay, so a maximum of 20 fish. Yeah. And um, r related to this, perhaps, uh, we have a question here from uh, Wen Long. Uh, and he has asked if the shape, uh, you know, have you ever tried um, a, a different shape arena. So the ones that you were showing were rectangular, but uh, for example, if one was round, and would that have any effect on shoaling behavior, in your opinion? Um, um, we tested it with, uh, with this uh, polygon, so with this apex, uh, with, with a tank with apex. And I'm, I'm really that, I, do, I really don't think that uh, if, if the water volume is similar, there's many big differences. So this aquaria was two liter. If you put the fish in a similar uh, area, size area, I think it won't be very big differences between, okay. the, yeah, between the two experiments or two uh, adjustments. Okay, perfect. You mentioned creating uh, the reference point and um, which could be either used for object avoidance or predatory avoidance. So is that point fixed or can it be moved? And do fish typically avoid that object or would they potentially explore that yeah. object? So uh, this uh, reference point is a fixed point. Of course, in each record you can change the position, but uh, during one record the position is fixed and uh, the software automatically measure the distance of the middle of the group from this point. So, uh, so it's, a, it's a fixed point in one record, in another one you can change. Okay. Um, some questions here. We, we had asked early on uh, our audience if they use adult fish or larval fish, um, young fish. And in your experience, what is the youngest age of fish that can be used with a system like the one you presented today? We, we tried it with uh, 7 and 10 days old fish and the only key point is uh, be enough uh, contrast. So if you can uh, change the, the camera setup or the light conditions and, and the fish are enough, uh, 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 enough contrast, the software will find it and, and they can analyze it. That's, that's the key point, just be enough contrast. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so bear with me while I sift through some of these questions. Um, a question from Alloc, and um, he wants to know, uh, in your opinion, and maybe you've seen this or you haven't, but are the dominant fish the males or the females? So he's asking, are they patriarchal or matriarchal? Uh, my opinion, and based on my observation, it's uh, really based on the fish size. So bo uh, both, both gender is possible to be the dominant fish in the tank. Uh, in some cases, we found that uh, if we put white type fish to between the caspers, because the white type was more viable and more active, they're getting bigger, and this female, it was a female, uh, was, was, the, was the queen of the aquaria, so it was a, absolutely the most dominant fish. Uh, if you compare to similar size uh, caspers, they will be more, more, more on the top of the rank. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Rose has asked, uh, what is the relation uh, between area highlighted to the movement of the fish, and this was asked very, very early on in the presentation, but you know, maybe I can clarify and you can confirm. So the area mm -hmm. is basically, uh, that's the, the, the area of the shoal and, and signifies the density or how close the fish are to one another versus a larger area, correct? Uh, so based on our results, what we found, uh, 
uh, when we it was it was in a gender experiment. So when the the density is changed, uh, the minimal distance is is getting getting smaller, of course, because the density was uh, was increased. Uh, and uh, and uh, and what we saw that uh, when the density also increased, uh, the maximal distance uh, between fish uh, is is increased as well. This is what we what we saw in our experiment. I don't know. This was the real. Is this is the real answer to the question? But I tried. Okay. To. Perfect. Um, with relation to the the water temperature, we've, we've had a few questions here. But um, um, you mentioned that you have your water temperature in the 25, 26 degree range. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So you know, what are the implications and consequences of having the water outside of that, that range? And uh, I mean, is there a standard? Um, yeah. It's, it's a very important point. We, we observe it uh, many times that we don't take care enough and uh, the room temperature is going down and during the treatment or during the experiment the, the aquario, the water uh, in the aquarium is also uh, decreased under 24 degree or 23 degree. Uh, the fish is getting less active so it's completely influenced our results. So uh, it's, it's, I think it's necessary to take care that uh, the recoil temperature will be the same than the maintaining temperature of your fish. Okay. Um, bear with me for a second. I guess a question for me, and there's, there's also a similar question here. Um, you know, we, we have uh, a quite a varied audience today. Uh, some are uh, you know, come from a pharmacology lab at, at uh, a pharmaceutical company. Uh, others are ecotoxicologists. We have some geneticists in our audience. So, you know, how does all of this translate, um, sort of, to to areas of study like that, exo ecotoxicology, yeah. pharmacology, genetics, and and what are some clinical applications or benefits using zebrafish and looking at things like like uh, social behavior and, and showing. Yeah. So in, in our case, so if I see our results as a, as a ecotoxicologist, uh, I, I can, I'm, I'm sure that we can use the system and, and this type of results uh, to monitor our, our treatments. So the social behavior should be a very important uh, and very useful uh, biomonitoring point uh, or biomarker point for us. Uh, in many times, uh, we we saw sublethal effects. It can manifest in in, for example, in the in the moving uh, fast of some locomotor data, or some uh, some herd effects. Uh, but the social behavior also should be a very important and a very useful point uh, after chemical exposure. And for genetics. Also, after uh, after uh, some uh, modification in the genome, or they just want to uh, check the phenotype of a new line, um, uh, this should be uh, a useful uh, a useful assay and useful to 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 detect these effects. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, you may have answered this uh, partially, but um, I think this also um, sort of touches on the, the range or, or the region of interest uh, concept that you introduced. Uh, Javier has asked, um, so I guess there's two questions here. Can individual distance traveled uh, as well as tank position, you know, center of the tank versus periphery, can that be monitored? So you, you asked that uh, this, this, this so the, the fish position from the center of the tank? It, it, yeah, so or, the question is, can, can, you, um, you know, can you determine whether uh, 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 if a you, fish if is, you, is in the center of the tank versus on the periphery and how much time they spend along the edges of the tank versus you know, how much yeah, time can, they spend more on the For example, with, 
Uh -huh. For example, you can use for this the ROI and the reference point. So if you put the ROI and the reference point in the middle of your tank, that you will know that how many fish and how long time they spend in, in the middle of the tank. And you will know because you know the reference point coordinate, uh, you know the fish coordinate, you can calculate it very easily based on the based on the raw data. So the raw all the raw data will be in the report file and you can you can easily calculate. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, another question for you, and maybe this is outside of, uh, you know, this particular product and this particular application, but are there any other products related to zebrafish that you use as part of the uh, research that you do in your lab? Um, so, for example, studying mm -hmm. physiology or or anything like that. Um, so, um, our main field is, is toxicology. We have some uh, basic physiological studies. If you think to this, um, or um, yeah, I don't know the I, I really understand the question. So, can you please repeat it again? Okay. Yeah, the questions are really is are there any other measurements or any other products that you use related ah, okay. to zebrafish? Uh, for social behavior, or yeah, there are some other ones, but which is focusing on uh, focusing on the social aspects of the fish movements is I'm, I'm, I really don't know there's any other s solutions. Okay, and you had mentioned to me um, uh, that uh, you you are also capable of recording ECG on these animals um, as part of other protocols yeah. that you run. Yes, uh, we together with uh, the MD we developed uh, adult fish cardiovascular uh, car uh, electrocardiovascular measuring system. Yeah. Okay. Um, so again, my I, the, the delay in my asking these questions is simply because I'm sifting through so many of them here, and I'm trying to not repeat uh, specific questions. There are many questions about um, the configuration of the system, uh, you know, whether the software is included, um, uh, what types of uh, cameras can be used, um, pricing, and what I think I will do here is um, uh, we will make sure that uh, uh, those questions are answered individually by a representative from MDE. So, Questions about pricing and uh, what's yeah, pricing is, is my not my field, yeah. Yeah, so we'll we'll just kind of for for those of you that are asking those questions, yeah, we'll, we'll just for the, just for the camera part, yeah. Uh, there's more options uh, in the system. What we use now, there's a Kova uh, camera. It's and uh, there's more cameras that can be applicable for the system. So uh, the system plasticity is quite big. So okay. you can you can fit it more or less to your need. Okay, perfect. And I, yeah. I think uh, maybe you touched on this before, but in your experiments, you used four rectangular aquaria, uh, sort of placed yeah. as a group. But it doesn't necessarily need to be that way. I assume you could place a larger uh, container or aquarium. Yeah, of course. Oh. You, you you can use diff different aquarias. We used it because uh, we try to use sometimes some things standard is standardized, and we have this. We have more aquaria like this, and uh, maybe if, maybe we will change it later because of the reflection. Uh, I I saw it that in some case uh, the fishes found themselves in the mirror, and uh, some males start to uh, show some aggressive behavior, which maybe change your results. So maybe. Uh, Another tanks should be also possible. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Um, let me ask one more question because we do want to wrap up this webinar uh, on time. And um, a couple of questions have come in in this regard. Um, is it possible to record data day and night? Uh, what are the options in terms of when? And then uh, Jessica specifically has asked, um, and you know, I don't know if you know the answer to this question, but um, with the time of day 
influence shoaling behavior? Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about, yeah, but uh, the better if you make your experiment uh, late morning, so after 10 a.m. and uh, before 4, 4, 5 a.m. So uh, the morning is, uh, is the normal uh, spawning, uh, spawning time for the fish, so uh, their behavior is a little bit different than, than later. So yeah, the best, uh, you, you can choose uh, the daytime. And to answer the, the timing, uh, yeah, there's in the software they can uh, there are possibilities to 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 time uh, time time your your experiments and change okay. the light or the dark uh, dark uh, side. Yeah, so Perfect. you can program it. 